Well, hey, Man Cavians, this is Bob from the Bob Zenskel Man Cave, and today we're making puffball trees. I know puffball trees, everybody makes puffball trees. They don't, they don't look real, whatever. But these puffball trees are different. I do them a little bit differently. I change it up a little bit, and I'm going to show you how I do it. So let's get started. All right, things you're going to need is, well, a piece of insulation works great. You can spray paint everything, stick your toothpicks in it, and have it all standing up, ready for paint, and drying once you're done putting everything together. You're going to need some toothpicks. I got four inch ones and the normal, uh, like two inch, two and a half inch uh, square and round tip. Uh, make sure they're pointed tips so that they can uh, be planted into your foam or your ground scenery any way you want it to. And then get some paint, uh, paint for the trunk and paint for your actual branches and leaves or to kind of match the color of your ground foam that you're going to put on there. I'm going to use these colors, maybe not the black, but you can use black. Uh, also get some uh, Elmer's clear glue or you can use white glue if you want, but Elmer's clear glue uh, dries clear, obviously. And then get a bucket that you can put your ground foam into and drop your wet tree into to shake it around and apply your uh, ground foam on top of that to make you put your leaves and so forth. And then I got some uh, Woodland Scenics different colors of coarse turf, the medium green, light green, burnt grass, yellow grass, and I got this uh, big bottle of this flock and turf. That, that looked pretty good. To, I like the color of the green there. If you want your fall colors you can put those on there as well and some dead brown kind of leaf kind of look there on this stuff. And of course you're going to need some polyfill. You can pick this up at Walmart pretty cheaply or just pull apart an old stuffed toy and recycle it using the same stuff that's inside that uh, poor doggy toy that got ripped apart by your Great Dane. Okay, the first step is to paint your trunks, your uh, toothpicks, whatever color you're going to have is your base color for that trunk of the tree. And I'm choosing the gray primer and uh, that's what I'm making my trees out of as you can kind of tell. Now you don't have to use toothpicks, you can actually use some longer skewers depending on the scale that you're making. You know you can always make some taller trees or use these for pine trees or you know whatever you want to do depending on where you need to put these, the scale and everything else. So keep that in mind. So once you get your trunks painted and dried, we move on to the next step, which is attaching the fiber fill. You grab some fiber fill, and as you can see, it's uh, pretty soft and whatever. Probably grabbed a little bit too much for end scale on a small tree, so I'm going to take about half that off. You know, throw throw that off the side, and I have a little puff ball. Basically, these are puff ball trees attached to a stick or a trunk. I'm going to make a, a taller one, so it's going to be about. Be about that big with a, a tall, tall trunk, nothing there. So it's going to be kind of like a, a taller puffball tree. You can make all sorts of different styles if you want. Okay, I've got some all around there. All I do is stick it in the center. just kind of twist it around okay it'll eventually grab onto the glue and kind of tighten around that toothpick and out pop a little bit puffy tree so as you turn it around you can have different kind of shapes of that tree however it's going to look you can adjust it and squeeze it around, whatever, you can trim off um, straggly pieces on there as well if you want to. You just set it aside. You can also make them bigger 
so that uh, they take up most of the tree trunk and uh, you gotta leave some down here at the bottom of course to stick into your foam or your uh, plaster cloth on there or whatever you got I like sticking these into foam because there's more substance below ground to actually plant your tree okay now that I've got my fiber fill glued to my toothpicks got some rubber gloves on because I'm gonna get paint all over my hands so I might as well protect myself I'm gonna be making some uh, medium green kind of a uh, color to my tree I kind of got a bunch of hodgepodge stuff mixed in there which is good just reuse some of your stuff and you get different kind of colors on your trees just want to let you know that whatever color you put in here and whatever paint you put on here this color will change to the color of the paint that you have put on to your fiber fill so uh, just keep that in mind get it filled all the way in there it may even have some paint bubbles on there where it's really wet just stick it down in there twirl it around get it on there I cover it up and I shake it Let's check on it As you can see, it's pretty much uh, filled in with all that stuff. I shake it off some more, twirl it around. Once you got enough stuff uh, on there, set it aside to dry. Now the next color I'm going to try is this yellow grass color. I've never tried this one yet. I'm going to use brown on my uh, fiber fill and see how this looks. Well, so much for brown. Turn it upside down to get stuff onto the bottom of it. I got a faulty paint can. It's been sitting around too long and all of a sudden it's just it's plugging up. So I couldn't get it really uh, covered in paint. And that's how that one kind of looks. It doesn't look great. I can always put some hairspray on there and maybe uh, put some of that on there as well. I'm going to try the Aquanet trick. Looks a little bit more covered. But it's not too bad. It could get some more foliage on it later. Put some uh, hairspray on it. Aquanet. Okay, now I got some of that uh, flock and turf. Really light green, multi kind of colored uh, leaf material, flock material. So we're going to try this. You have a tree. Looks pretty good. So I mixed in some of the darker green, medium green, in with that's been used before with some paint, and mix it in with that lighter turf, and kind of give a little bit different look. And this one here, as you can see, is pretty poofy. And you got uh, kind of like a, a mix of colors in there. So now I'm going to try some burnt grass color to see how that looks. And there's a poofy tree. You do see some green in there, so it's not too bad. If I had the brown, it would have been a, probably a little bit better look to it. But, uh, yeah, these trees are meant to be background trees anyway. So, I'm not taking uh, close-up photographs of these on my scenes. It's just there for background. So, once you get your trees all color, colored up the way you want them to look they look pretty good once they're dry and uh, ready to be planted and maybe some touch-ups here and there on some of these I'll uh, take a look and see what I can do but for the most part they're ready for background uh, planting another tip is uh, do this in a well ventilated area because this really smells like paint and it's going to smell like paint for a long time if you do it inside the house. So try doing it outside where it's well ventilated. Not a lot of wind, because you don't want a lot of wind blowing all your stuff around. 
but you know, do it so that it can dry. There you go, man cavens. That's how I make to Bob Zinscale man cave puffball trees. You guys asked for it and I delivered. I just started making these just the other day and I found that they turned out really well and they look really good in the background of my layout up where people don't see the details of that tree. It's just there to kind of catch your eye and show that it's filled in. It looks like, well, there's a mountain up there. There's a grove of small trees over here and there's all this over there. It catches your eye. It fills in the details, hides a lot of things that you don't want people to see. Also mix in the short trees in the front as well. So it kind of looks like you have old growth and new growth on the same area, especially near the front of your background area that you're making. Mix it up. Don't put the same color trees right next to the same color of tree. You know, mix up the colors. Make your eye jump from different things, different levels and everything else, so it looks more natural. Throw in some real pine trees that you make differently or some other trees as well, and that really jumps out at you as something that looks more natural. Hope you liked this video and hope you learned something. And if this is the first time you've visited the Bob Zenscale Man Cave and just ran across me, consider subscribing down below and ring that bell to get notified of future videos. Also, leave a comment and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And as always, Man Cavians, happy model railroading. You stay off those tracks. Bye.